Good afternoon, dear developers. Today we are going to tell you how to set up Facebook AdMob bidding in your app. We are now on the AdMob page, which has instructions for integrating Facebook network mediation. This is a simple tutorial that explains well how to set up bidding. We recommend using it if the video is not enough for you or you have questions. We will post a link to this article in the description of this video. An important point, this page is where we go after we have already taken some important steps. First, we have already built out our mobile app and configured monetization in it. We have added AdMob keys to the monetization section, banners, interstitials, and AdMob app ID. A very important point for bidding to work is to activate AdMob Facebook bidding. Check this checkbox. After we build out our app, we published it on Google Play. Also, the app was added to AdMob, the keys from which we inserted into the app as you have already seen. Two videos, how to add an application to AdMob, how to publish an application to Google Play, will also be in the description of this video. Once you've completed these steps, you move on to set up mediation. Your next step is to add your app to Facebook. Go to step one and see what we need to do. Sign up to Facebook Business Manager. Follow the link. My Facebook Business Manager is already set up, so I go straight to Dashboard. Here we will need to create a new property. Name our property and click Create. We choose the platform of our property, in this example, this is Android. Now Android apps must be integrated with bidding. This is exactly what we are doing now. We will need to make all these checkboxes green when setting up property. First, let's add a link to our app on Google Play. If you are a beginner, you will need to make the payment account settings. We already have everything set up, so we select our account. You will need to configure ads.txt for your application. The link to the video how to set up ads.txt files will be in the description of this video. We click review as we have already configured ads.txt. Now let's add ad placement, namely banner. Here you need to generate a system user access token and then save it to your document. As well as property ID. Also save the banner ID. Click Done. Now let's create a placement for interstitial ads. Copy and save the interstitial ads ID. Let's go now to the bidding setup and create the bidding settings. Select your mediation platform, choose AdMob. Select our app. Press generate API token. Select APIs and generate a token. From here you can copy the app ID and save it to your doc. So we have finished setting up mediation at the Facebook level. 
After that, we go to add mob to the mediation section. Create a new mediation group for the banner. Press add, add units and choose add unit from our app. Press add, add source in bidding section. Select Facebook network. Insert banner ID. Now, press Add, Add Source for the Waterfall. Select Facebook Audience again. Here we need to insert the System User Access Token and Property ID. You can also set manual CPM for these grids until AdMob finishes the optimization process, which can take up to two days. Insert banner ID here. Great, we made settings for bidding and waterfall. Click Save. Now let's create a mediation group for interstitial ads in the same way. So we added two mediation groups for banners and interstitials, which should work after Facebook finishes our app review. I also want to tell you an important point. When you set up bidding in your Andromo account, be sure to remember to enable banner and interstitial displays at the component level and do it for AdMob only. You don't need to turn on Facebook at the Builder. That's all I wanted to tell you about bidding. Have a great day and thank you for your attention.